Hi. <laughs> anyway, it's really nice to be here tonight with you all. It's a really special evening. And I'm happy to be here honoring someone who I've gotten to know over the years and has been extremely creative and inspiring to many people in all sorts of fashion, design, art. And I don't know, he's just somebody who never really dealt with, who had boundaries and kind of worked in you know, high fashion and streetwear and sort of mended them seamlessly. And so I'm happy to be here tonight to offer the Parsons Table Award to Pharrell Williams. Okay, that music makes me nervous. <laughs> it's so much bigger than anything I could ever live up to. Um, thank you, Brian Donnelly, the artist known as uh, Cause. It's brought so much color to not only my life, but I feel like the rest of the world and aspiring young artists, you know, from the street, you see how far you could go with your career. It continues to make the world more colorful. Please make some noise for Cause. <laughs> <clears throat> um, thank you to Parsons and the New School for recognizing me tonight. Um, I'm standing here in awe of these students and the graduates and the world, yeah, and the graduates, and the world that they are designing for us. I look around and I really feel the future that they are creating as I'm sure you guys can too. Like this is a very important room and honestly, um, I personally can feel the design theta waves in the air. Um, I'm so flattered to be recognized by Parsons and uh, for our commitment to creativity, innovation, and sustainability. I think creativity is a gift, um, and I feel very lucky that I'm able to spend every day being imaginative. That is like really and truly a gift, and I think that that should be afforded to all children. Um, I'm super inspired by you all. Um, my greatest wish is to see students and everyone in this room to keep dreaming and creating without limits, no boundaries. Um, to open your mind to every idea and to, to open um, your work to everyone. Um, to design for all bodies, genders, shapes, colors, and abilities. Um, and women are really having a moment right now. Like, it's just, it's... <laughs> women are having a, an amazing moment and a crazy moment. Um, yeah, it's about time for the doors to open, but it's like really about time to close the doors on people who think that they can govern your bodies. Um, I was just saying the other day, you know, and out of solidarity for, for womankind, um, man, they keep trying to like tell you what to do with your reproductive organs. And sooner or later, you guys will just completely wise, you'll wise up and realize your true power is to just actually shut down your reproductive organs <laughs> and just end mankind altogether. <laughs> so anyway, sorry, back to what we're talking about here. I go off on tangents, um, to remember that there's no one right answer to the problems that the world puts in front of us. Um, we're problem solvers, but you guys are the problem solvers. You are the technicians, you are the collaborators, and you're the storytellers. Um, we start conversations. Um, so many of the partners that we're collabor collaborating with can actually help make a difference. Bi bionic yarn, excuse me, bionic yarn takes plastic out of the ocean to make materials, Adidas embraces, uh, embraces culture, uh, different cultures from around the world. My brand, BBC, and Human Made, we keep talking about how our wealth is of the heart and the mind and not of the pocket. Uh, but thank you to that amazing family that decided to go into the pocket tonight. Um, 
<laughs> to, to help out. And if it wasn't offensive to you, to the other gentlemen in the family, um, if it wasn't offensive to you guys, the very next day I would offer to do the same thing. I mean, I don't have two photo shoots, but I could at least go to lunch the next day with you guys for the same amount. But that is, of course, if it is not offensive to the first family that bid to 100,000. Is that okay with you? Um, but I think it's, I know I keep veering off a track. If you're offended by it, we, we don't have to do it. Is that, is that okay to do it? It's okay? It's all right? Okay, cool. Congratulations. Your generation, your generation continues. Generosity, excuse me. Your generosity continues. Um, but I think, it's a pretty I think it's pretty special that sometimes we're able to make lives more livable and, and productive. Sometimes we're able to reduce waste and be kind to our greatest natural resource, our planet. And when we really delight people and make them happy, it's an absolute wonderful feeling. I can't believe that sustainability is something that we have to enforce and push. Like, I can't believe that, like, we're still having this conversation as, like, the polar bears are, like, trying to find a piece of ice to, like, levitate on, not to, like, fall in the ocean. We're still talking about sustainability. And that is why we have to protect institutions like Parsons, um, because you guys are absolutely pushing real initiatives like sustainability, so thank you by that. Um, I want to keep telling you how inspired I am, because I think you guys understand that. But I do want to end in just saying really fast, to keep in mind that everything in this room that is inorganic, meaning everything that's in this room that's not breathing, your glasses, your wine glasses, these tables, uh, your phones, your amazing clothes, these chairs, they were all once the idea and the epiphany of someone who's heard no a million times. You were staring at their work. Their work is the representation of yes. And for me, I think schools like Parsons, yes, they have to continue to challenge themselves to make themselves better, to evolve, because we have these crazy ass laws that come out and, and rule out arts and, edu and, and, and education altogether. I mean, can you believe that they're taking the arts out of schools? Right, that's insane. So we have to protect the institutions, but we also, most importantly, have to protect the teachers at all costs. So I just want to say thank you so much to Parsons for having me. Um, I can't believe I'm up here because when you think about Julie's work, she's supposed to be up here. That makes sense. You think about Katrina's work, she's supposed to be up here. You think about Michael's work, he absolutely should be up here. And Linda, 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 and her music, she should be up here. I don't know what I'm doing up here. But even if my only little contribution is to remind you that we have to protect these people who come up with these amazing designs, these amazing epiphanies that go on to make everybody else's life a little bit more colorful, a little bit more creative, and a little bit more convenient. So thank you so much, and thank you to Parsons again.